Hi, man. How's it going? I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. Give me a beer. I think I'm going to hurl. Damn. Hey, everybody. I've been getting a lot of reports lately uh, where people are having problems if they try to run a program or install a program or open a program. And it says this operation's been canceled by your, or blocked by your administrator. And um, it says you don't have administrator rights. You get some kind of pop-up like that. I'm going to show you how to restore your admin administrator rights. Sometimes to change the administrator rights on an account, you have to boot up in the safe mode and log into the administrator account and then go in and change it from there. But if you don't have the password for administrator account, then you can boot up in your regular mode in your user account and I'll show you how to retrieve the lost passwords or change them or reset the passwords. Also, if you're, if you're missing Task Manager, RegEdit, or MS Config, and you can't run any of those utilities, I'm going to show you how to restore that with a copy of them. And I've also had reports of people having DNS errors and DNS hijacks, and I'm going to show you how to run SMIT fraud and fix your DNS errors. And I'm also going to show you XP Home users how to manually uh, edit your registry and do a backup first and change your administrator rights in there in the group policy. And XP Pro has a nice little group policy utility. XP Home doesn't have that, so I show you the difference. And other than that, enjoy the video. Remember, modifying your registry can cause serious problems that may require you to reinstall your operating system. So always back up your files before doing this registry hacks. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to start, run, type in regedit, click OK. Make sure all these are closed. Click on my computer, the file, ex export. Name it whatever you want, reg, and then maybe the date. something like that and click save. Mine's going to be in my documents. But you can open that menu and save it wherever you like. Okay, now you've got a complete backup of your, doc your registry. Right click my computer, go to manage, click on the plus sign next to local users and groups, click on groups, double click on administrators, and if you don't see your name in here, your username, you go to add, type in your username, and click on check names, and it will give you the full path to your name and make sure it's spelled right, and then click OK, and that will give you admin rights. Click OK to back out of that, close that, restart your computer. XP Home Task Manager. Start menu, run, reg edit. Click OK. You're going to have to browse your way through. Go to Users, Software, Microsoft, Windows current version, go down to policies, and system, disable registry tools, the disable task manager will show up in here just like this one does, and you can right click on that and delete. Start, run, or hold down the Windows key and hit R. Then type in Control User Passwords 2. 
click OK. Click on Administrator. Click on Reset Password. Type in your new password twice and click OK. Or you can leave them blank like I did. Click OK. Now you can log into the admin account. I guess the first thing we're going to attack is since you may not have your task manager and regedit available, XP Emergency Utility will restore those for you. you double click on that. You can read this when you open it. It just gives you a copy of MS Config, Task Manager, and Reg Edit in case your old ones have been disabled or deleted or corrupt. So click on Create Copies, Exit, and go to your My Computer, whether it's up here or in here, Explore. You right click on My Computer, go to Explore, C Drive, Emergency Utilities, and there's your MS Config. Reg Edit and Task Manager. Now I did that because I wanted to show you it's my task manager has been disabled by my administrator. We're going to go back here. We're going to Task Manager Enable. Are you sure you want to add that information to your registry? Yes. Has been added successfully. Okay. We'll go back to my tools. Task Manager. Now it opens. So if you've lost those, any of those three, that's how you can get them back with these registry tools. If you've been attacked by a virus that changed your wallpaper, this is your wallpaper and it's just a blue screen or it's a pop-up from an antivirus program, you click desktop fix, double click that and add it to the registry and that will give you this menu back where you go to desktop and try to save your picture and it won't let you change this is all grayed out that'll fix that this will also help you with administrative rights if you lost them it'll replace that for you and fix your .execute file if you try to run an execute file it says it, it's not a valid Windows 32 system or you've got the LSP fix that'll check for holes in your firewall and if anything is needed to be removed it would have shown up over here this program scans it for you SNP fraud double click on that opens in a command window just press any key to continue search and clean DNS hijack Bye. Scanning DNS gives you a report before and after. back to the start and you run command type in gpedit.msc that brings up your group policy menu on the right side select user configuration 
and administrative templates two clicks two clicks on system select your control alt delete options right click on task manager go to properties and make sure it's labeled for not configured and you can close that.